Well, happy Halloween. What I've got here is a jack-o'-lantern creamy pumpkin gratin. A little jack-o'-lantern face on there, lots of cheese, lots of creamy inside, and the pumpkin gets cooked. Just absolutely delicious. Let's go in the kitchen and make one of these right now. All right, here's what we need to make our jack-o'-lantern creamy pumpkin gratin. Well, first of all, the pumpkin. Now, I can't get pumpkins in Japan where they're very difficult to get, so I use uh, the kabocha, which is the local pumpkin-type squash. You could use a small pumpkin, you could use a kabocha if you get them, or even a, a large acorn squash. Any type of squash that's nice and round and squat like this will do the job. So. What I've got here are the ingredients to go inside. What we have here is eight ounces of ground meat. Uh, this is again my favorite uh, half pork, half beef mixture, but eat is okay. Um, we have here is four ounces or 110 grams of cheddar cheese grated. One can or like about just under two cups of uh, white sauce. Two thirds of a cup of cooked rice. Half an onion finely chopped. Um, one red bell pepper chopped, but not all of it's chopped. As you can see right here, we have, this is the, the little one of the nubbins from the, the bottom just sliced off. We got two of them there. We've cut off two little round parts. That'll be the eyes. And then one long slice this way to make the mouth. And then we have one tablespoon of butter and a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper. So let's get the butter into a frying pan. We're a large frying pan. Going to put that on medium heat. And I'm going to wait for the butter to melt. All right, while that butter is melting, let's go over this uh, pumpkin a little bit more. What I've done is, is cut around the top of the knife, as you would if you're carving a jack-o'-lantern. You're going to take that lid out. So just cut around and then use a spoon to just scoop everything out inside. So it's nice and cleaned out inside. That is basically all there is to it. Also, if you get any nubbins sticking out the bottom here, it's going to make it sit crooked. I had one here, a little, just about like a little bump of some sort. I just cut it off and then it sits nice. All right, looks like our butter is melted. So let's put the onions in there. In goes the onion. In goes the ground meat. And I'm going to cook this, stirring, let it brown a little bit, for just about five minutes. We don't need to cook it too much because it's going to cook a long time in the oven also. Just five minutes, just get a little browning happening here, soften up the onions a bit. See you in five. Oh wait, <laughs> one more thing. Let's add the salt and pepper. Just about forgot that. All right, hey, if you do forget it, you know, if you're forgetful as me, you can always add it in later when we're going to add in some of the other ingredients. But it's nice to get that salt and pepper in early. All right, see you in five. All right, that's been cooking for about five minutes. I've been stirring it around and you can see nicely browning a bit. That's all we need. Now, let's add in the rice and the red bell peppers, all except for our decorative pieces. I'm gonna stir that around a bit. I'm gonna cook this about a minute. That's it, just kind of more than enough time just to break everything up and get the rice mixed in with the meat and it's going to keep cooking while I'm doing this. All, right, all I've been doing last minute here is just kind of a chopping motion with my spatula just to get the rice mixed in. All right, we can turn off that heat now. Let's mix in that white sauce. I'll get my favorite uh, rubber spatula to make sure we get it all out of there. And just mix that in. All right, now it's all mixed in. A couple things we're going to do. We're going to get a ladle. 
and a little pan for our kabocha or pumpkin to sit in. You can do it in a pan, you can put it on a baking sheet, anything's fine. Just something to put it in the oven in. And then just start scooping the filling inside. This looks like it's actually going to be just perfect. You never know exactly uh, because of different size of pumpkins whether you're going to have a little leftover. It's always better to make more because, hey, it tastes pretty good to eat just as it is. All right. Actually, I think there's going to be a, a little bit much this time because the pumpkin is not that big. But stuff down in there. But notice I'm leaving enough room here. Just a little bit more. Actually, we just about use it all. I left room here for that cheese to sit up on top. All right, now cheese. We get that on there and just tamp it down. Just yeah, like that. Again, depending on the size of your pumpkin as to whether you need all the cheese or not. But hey, leftover cheese, leftover this. Mwah. Nice little snack to eat while you're waiting for this to bake. All right, what I want to do now is I want to work the, the mouthpiece into here. See, so kind of build the cheese up around the mouth a bit. That's going to melt down and reveal it more anyways. We don't want it sticking out too much. Just clear off like that. All right, so there we've got a smile. Uh, let's get the eyes in there. In goes the one eye. In goes the other eye. And again, I'm going to work the cheese around that a bit. All right. Okay, that's ready to go in the oven. So, the oven is heating up right now at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius and we're going to bake this in the oven for one hour. All right, I'll see you after this comes out of the oven. All right, that's been an hour in the oven and here comes our ghoulish little pumpkin. <laughs> there you are. So I like them with the red eyes. Just looks spooky. You can also do this, um, if you want to try something different, you could try some eggplant for the black. Um, I've never tried the eggplant actually, but I've done eggplant and other things in the oven and I, I believe it would come out about the same. You know, just have that little, uh, just make sure you get the, the, the purpley black up. You got a good thick piece so it can sit down in there and you'll be set. Anyways, enjoy this. Have a happy Halloween with this uh, little jack-o'-lantern pumpkin gratin. Enjoy. Now, if you go to the link appearing on the screen, you can get the free printable recipe for jack-o'-lantern creamy pumpkin gratin on our website. And remember, please go check out our kitchen tech and other videos on our Patreon site and consider becoming a patron to help us keep going with these fantastic recipes. Now, go print out the recipe, have fun making and eating this delicious Halloween treat, and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen.